This is the summary of traditional clothing of the Native Americans, with patterns and ideas for making authentic traditional clothing, making modern buckskin clothing and a section on tanning buckskins and furs by Evard H. Gibby. A new and exciting book for those interested in traditional Native American dress and for anyone who wants to know how to make use of their own deer skins and other animal skins, in either a traditional or modern manner. The information in this 176-page volume is extensive, well-researched and fascinating to read. This book first explores the traditional dress of Native Americans in the nine major cultural areas of North America, with an emphasis on everyday or work clothes. Individual items of clothing are then discussed in detail. Among the many items included are skirts and aprons from a variety of materials, dresses of many styles, capotes, robes, brioche clutes, leggings, shirts, breastplates, parkas, hats, moccasins, cradleboards and sandals. Selected pieces of dress clothing, primarily from the plains, are also discussed. Included are drawings, patterns and ideas for making replicas of primitive clothing. There are also sections on how some people currently live in buckskin year-round and surprising facts about native clothing. Buckskin today describes clothing made in modern times in both period and modern styles. Most of the items in this section were submitted to the author by others and there is a wide range of ideas, from one skin skirts to fur mittens and hats to modern buckskin jackets and coats. Explanations are given on how each piece was made. In addition bags, pouches and parflesh are covered and there are tips for sewing and cleaning buckskin. Tanning buckskins and fur emphasizes Indian brain tanning methods including dry scrape and wet scrape techniques. Coloring and dyeing heights are described and there is an extensive discussion of the physical structure of deer skin. Other tanning methods included are ivory soap buckskin and acid tanning techniques. Over 100 references on these subjects are provided. Extensive research makes this book a very useful reference for anyone interested in Native American or self-reliant lifestyles, as well as for those who attend powwows and rendezvous. For more hobbies and home book reviews visit www.homebookmix.com.